nice little bunny rabbit right there. I kind of flushed him out of the grass and he's going to hit on me. And he's not going to stay around very long. I told him I was going to take his picture though. So it's all good. Hey bunny rabbit. I'm going to walk that way so I know he's going to disperse and go into the underbrush. But that's alright. Better a rabbit than a bear. Or a rattlesnake or a copperhead or something like that. Well, thankfully, at least for the last few minutes, the rocks have abated. We shouldn't see very many going through this field here either. We just stepped out of the woods. Nice farmhouses down here. And we're gonna have a walk through a field for a little bit. That shouldn't be too bad. Thankfully, the sun's not up and blazing at us just yet. So this isn't as hot as it would be if we did it later in the day. I think we're gonna have overcast skies today. I think there's a chance of rain most all the day but uh, maybe not a huge, huge chance or anything. I think it's not going to dump on us. Or at least that's what the forecast we saw was. Of course, I probably just jinxed the snot out of that, but we'll see how things go. Hopefully we'll have a pleasant stroll today. <clears throat> we're going to shoot for not quite 15 miles today to a shelter, and if we're feeling good, we could go another two or four, I think. Maybe it's four, I forgot to another location and we'll sort of just play it by ear and see how things go but I think as much as all of us are sore and stiff and hurting you know just uh, we'll be satisfied to get the 15 done but we'll again play it by ear it's right at eight o'clock in the morning and we're on the move uphill on rocks yay I'm so excited I just hope that these will abate at some point during the day and we'll have an easier hike than we did yesterday because yesterday was just brutal at the end of the day. And the overall hike was really not bad, but it's just the last couple or three miles over rocks just killed us and demoralized us. We were all just beat to death when we got to the campsite and it wasn't just us. Every hiker that came in there just felt like they had worked themselves to death yesterday. And uh, one fellow that came in that had planned to make it another four and a half miles and he just couldn't get it just couldn't do it and uh, I can understand that but anyway we're underway and uh, hopefully our hike today will be a little more pleasant than yesterday's well this is where the trail just came down beside this huge rock with a tree growing out of it you see the tree right there that's pretty cool dead tree over here uh, trail's not horrible today. We got a few rocks, but these are actually quite manageable because you can step around them. So, so far so good. Moving right along. We've been out for not quite an hour. And uh, we're moving forward. <clears throat> Seen a few chipmunks this morning. They don't hold still very well. Oh, wow, there's a lot of downed wood right here. Chipmunks are hard to photograph because they are very skittish. They're full of energy and they hear you and bam, they're gone. Heading for the underbrush. I hope I can get a picture of one sometime, but so far I've not been so fortunate. All right, we were just observing a rock wall down the trail. Well, now we're crossing over it and this is thicker and wider. There's the trail. This is thicker and wider than any that we've seen yet. Kind of curious as to why it's out here, but uh, I'm sure there must be some reason. I'm wondering if I can get down this without breaking my neck. There we go. Maybe I can. But uh, here, I'll get down a little past it and you can sort of see better. That's, that's the wall that we just crossed over. I guess they knocked some of it down right there for us to get past. But uh, kind of an interesting thing there. We're plowing along. We caught up to Angel and Bullfrog at the first big stream. We're getting ready to cross Little Antietam Creek and probably half a mile or less. And there was a sign back here at this one that said, if you had a hard time crossing this creek, then you might not want to try crossing Little Antietam. It says something about it being deadly. So I guess this is a big stream that we're coming up on here shortly. And I'll show you when we get there. Mountain stream of the day. And we're going to fill up some water right here, by golly. Because I'm thirsty. I was kind of going slow on my water today because I didn't want to walk down to the water source this morning. And this is going to be the perfect place to do it. Oh wow, that's uh, kind of dicey. Uh, 
definitely crossing this one two-handed. I don't know whether that's the crossing or not. I guess it is. Wow, what an interesting place to do that. But boy, this is a nice little creek or river or stream or whatever. Two or three things coming together right here at once. That's pretty awesome. Let me see if I can find my way across here and uh, fill up some bags of water real quick. Well, we've come upon Little Antietam Creek and we get to find a way across. I think this one's gonna be okay. I don't think the water is rushing today. I don't think it's gonna be deadly for us. So that's a good thing. Question is, can we do it and keep our feet dry? Okay, that rock over there moves. So be careful with that one. Alrighty, so I believe I'm gonna put my phone up and do this with poles. We'll get Angel on across first. Alrighty, so I'm gonna put this up and do it myself. Well, we just came up a incredibly rocky switchback trail to this, this rock garden up here at the top. There's a blue blaze out there going, I guess, to the tip up here. You can see it jutting out right there. I believe I'm gonna pass on that, but boy, this is a nice rock right here. And these are nice blue people. Places. Out to that little tip over there behind me. So anyway, we're gonna pile on up the trail. Okay, sorry, I was talking to my friends. I thought I videoed video this, but apparently I didn't hit the button. But this is uh, just a few feet further along, and that's what we got. And then this entire ridge back here at the back, it's kind of cool. And then this one right here is the one we were standing below just a minute ago. So, really nifty little place to see. Hope we don't have to climb over all that. We're taking a break, Angel's being, oh, now she's looking at us. And there's Bullfrog. And there's Bullfrog's water filtering. Wee, down into the pack. So, anyway, I don't see that I have any trekking poles anywhere. Right here okay. Minor panic here. Okay, there we go. But anyway, we just had to walk three tenths of a mile to get water because when we go to the shelter, which is directly across the trail, right over there at that blue blaze. It's six tenths of a mile to get water over there, which makes no sense at all. Why would they direct you to water over there if it's closer to come across over here? But anyway, this was a really good water source and a good place for Angel to sit and rest because she didn't go down to it. She's not moved in 30 minutes and we just had a 20 minute or 30 minute lunch. So she's coasting today. And we're getting ready to hit the trail and see how far we can go. Well, don't remember the name of it, but we're coming in on shelter here. I'm gonna stop and eat some lunch. Yep, I see, bud. They got bear cables. That's the first time I've seen those since the Smokies, I believe. So, anyway, I'm gonna pop in here for just a minute, eat a bite, and rest. Oh wow, that's a nice shelter. Got a porch up there. See, so they've got a porch over the top. I don't know whether you can get up in there or not, but pretty nice place. I'm gonna stop and eat. Well, I hate to jinx it, but we, uh, left the water spot and I'm hopeful that at least for the while we've left the uh, difficult terrain behind us because we got a path now that we can almost walk two abreast not trip over too much and it's reasonably flat it's going slightly uphill and if you're going to go uphill slightly uphill is the right way to do it and on a big trail like this would be good so we're plowing forward Hawkeye didn't wait on us to fill our water so it's probably 30 minutes ahead of us which means maybe a mile the way he's hiking today because he's yeah yeah he's hiking pretty well today we are too now it was awfully tough coming up that thousand foot rocky climb though what did we call that was that buzzard rock uh, raven raven. raven knob raven rock not raven knob because that's a scout camp nearby at home but yeah anyway it was a huge rock outcrop and you saw the video film from there earlier 
not film, just video. But anyway, we're moving along and uh, we're gonna just see how far we can go today. We're gonna try to be into, uh, oh fiddle, um, Pine Grove Furnace State Park sometime late in the day Saturday and camp there on Sunday we hope and got a friend from Pittsburgh, several friends from Pittsburgh that were hoping to come visit us and I think that uh, we maybe we'll get uh, some trail magic from Pappy and Mimi and Maggie. So we're looking forward to maybe seeing them this weekend. If not, we'll see them somewhere while we're in, in the state. Because uh, even early on they said, hey, let us know when you get up this way. We'd like to come visit. So it's a pretty good haul for them, but at least they're not walking. So we'll talk to you soon. So what do AT hikers do when it rains? Yeah, they hike and they get wet. But I thought I'd show you this area. This is a wide open little spot right here. I think there's a ridge right over here. We passed an overlook figuring that, well, number one, we're getting soaked. And number two, we probably wouldn't see anything over there. And number three, we're not really sure how far ahead Gavin is, but he started at least 30 or 45 minutes in front of us. So he's at least a mile, mile and a half probably out in front of us if he's hiking his regular pace, which is cool. He's got a map and we trust him. So it's all good, but uh, Anyway, we'll all catch up. We're going to be coming down into the uh, Pinmar State Park before too terribly long and crossing the Mason-Dixon line. So that's coming up today. So stay tuned for that. We're going to kick off another state. I still don't know how the people make the uh, four-day challenge. I don't know whether I've talked about that or not, but uh, we were in the gazebo. I was, I've spent several nights out in the gazebo at the hotel in Harpers Ferry talking with the hikers that were coming through, and quite a few of them We're going to make the four state challenge and what that entails is hiking southbound from Harpers Ferry you go about a mile and a half to the Virginia West Virginia state line and then you start a timer and the goal is to touch foot in four states in a 24-hour time period so that encompasses 43 trail miles you come through uh, you know you, you start in Virginia immediately cross into West Virginia for four miles and then you've got all of Maryland, which is, I don't know, not quite 40, 30 some odd. And then you wind up at the Pinmar State Park into Pennsylvania. And then I think you take about three days off and uh, recuperate, because I would, I would be broken if I tried something like that. But uh, we, we did pass, a, a, well I say we passed, a, hack, a hiker yesterday passed me as I was going into the shelter and uh, he was doing it. And he had about 10 miles left to go. He had started about 5.30 that morning. And it was about five o'clock at night, so he'd been hiking hard for about 12 hours. He said he usually hikes about three miles an hour. So he had about 10 miles yet to go to uh, get into the state park. So hats off to those guys. Personally, I think they're nuts. Especially considering the terrain that we've had yesterday and today. I mean, you know how demoralized and dejected I was yesterday afternoon when I came across the rock field, that boulder patch, it was horrid. And it seemed like all we did yesterday in the afternoon was walk on start, sharp, steep rocks all the day long. So I can't imagine trying to do that in the latter half of a 43 mile day. But there are people out there, younger than me, I guess, and crazier too. So anyway, we're hiking in the rain a little bit. It has at least slowed down some. And it actually feels rather nice. Cools things down a bit. I'm not drinking as much water because I think I'm, I'm absorbing it through my skin perhaps. Maybe I have developed a little bit of uh, reptilian nature or something out here. At least it's cooling me off and that's the whole purpose of sweating. So if I'm not sweating, I'm not expending moisture. So anyway, I'm gonna get both my whole poles back in hand because this descent that we're getting ready to start or that we have just started it's very rocky and I don't want to wind up on my fanny. Well, here's a big hole in the ground. Just a little bit off the trail. Not sure why it's here. I don't know if it was a sinkhole or what exactly, but kind of see the ridge down there and then down there is in the hole. I don't know. Kind of an interesting thing. You don't ever know what you're going to see out here. But uh, we're about a mile from Pinmar State Park and we're trying to figure out our options. We did not plan on a boulder field today that slowed us down to about a half mile per hour. So we'll figure something out. We're gonna progress on down the road and hope the trail's nicer on our way down than it has been for a while. 
Dude, we've had a really good day today, honestly, except for that last little bit. But uh, anyway, we'll fly forward and see what we can work out when we get down here. Never mind what I said earlier about a nice, easy level trail today. Wow, the last mile has been down over these boulders. Uh, it's been tough. Here comes Angel and Bullfrog. Man, thankfully they've not been slick yet. Knock on that cheese, I better shut up. I had just better stop talking now. But it uh, looks like we're not quite done yet. And this is, this is not nearly as bad as what we came down at the top either. So uh, anyway, we're plowing on. Well, we are coming into Penmar State Park. How about that? There's Hawkeye, he's been here a while. He left out from the water stop. So he got about 30 or 40 minutes ahead of us. And he's been hiking strong today, I know, because he said he'd been here for quite a while. And we have not had the last of the rain, I don't think, today either. Looking at the sky off that way. Not very many people here. Of course, it's been a rainy day. Wonder why we have to stay out of there. That would be the perfect place to sit and take our packs off and refigure the rest of our afternoon. Uh, there's bathrooms up there. You can get under those, I suppose. You call an entire area? Uh, probably just this little area right here. Wonder if they've sealed the concrete or something. It's awfully shiny looking. Yeah? Okay, we'll walk over there then. He says there's other hikers over here. But, wow, this is a pretty nice little place. Don't know why we have to keep out of there. But anyway, we'll go over here to this other shelter and get under that because it's about to start raining again. I can tell. Oh, there's the sign. Oh, there's the view right there. Right there's the view. Over here. Well, up there too. All over the place. There's hikers everywhere. I guess trying to figure out which end is up and what they're going to do next. There's a restroom area over there. Playground. I guess that's where the snack shop used to be. But uh, anyway, we have arrived and do some figuring on what's next. Well, we came in off the trail in Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. And the houses here are just absolutely gorgeous. Right here on the main street. I guess it's the main street, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is just beautiful architecture here. Old, old houses. And uh, we had our cheeseburger, and we're kind of walking down to the Dollar General to get a couple of few items to pack out. And we'll be back out on the show tomorrow. And I wanted to show you a little bit of uh, some of the town. I just think it's really gorgeous. Some of these old uh, bay windows or whatever. Old two and three story buildings. There's one or two that's coming into town that I just have to visit. Absolutely gorgeous. We're not going to walk that far. But, uh, anyway, this is what we're seeing.